Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Okay, so today we're going to discuss about HashiCon. Now, this tool, I have uh, I have started getting into that four years before because uh, it's pretty much new tool actually, and uh, it's from the HashiCon. So, in simple way, if you want to understand, uh, if you want to store uh, your password, your certificate, your key, your token, and not only you and uh, all of your organizations a need for storing the password can be fulfilled by uh, HashiCon world and that is what we are going to learn about it. So, okay, so if you are preparing for certifications, uh, these are the topics will be useful for you. So here you can compare authentication method, uh, create vault policies, token and this, that amount. So this keywords will not, might not make any sense for you until you know that vault. But yeah, this session, the one which I'm, uh, which I'm having right now, this is more aligned with the official certifications. So this you can get it up. So what is the vault? So simple, manage secret and protect sensitive data. So you can secure, store and tightly control access to tokens password, certificate, encryption keys for, for protecting secrets and other sensitive data. Use it, UI, CLI, and HTTP API. Remember that this is important. This is important. That means vault you can use through command line also. Vault you can use through the UI also. And vault you can use through the HTTP APIs as well. Okay. So HTTP APIs, most of the time we do that in the through the programming. Through the program, if you want to protect some data, use the vault. But, but uh, using UI also we can work, but more in this session we'll be stick to the CLI. But though I'll show you that some of the UI commands, and UI way and HTTP APIs also, but we'll be focus on more on CLI command line because that is what we will use as a uh, DevSecOps engineers more. So, yep, this is a HashiCorp Vault is a secret, secrets lifecycle manager written in Go and uh, it supports because it's written in go you know that uh, go is also platform independent so it supports multiple operating system and one of the good thing is uh, the same binary which you download uh, of vault it will act like a client also and server also that means you don't have to set up a two separate thing same utility will work for the client and server okay so that is a good thing about it now this image is very important for all of you okay this is the world concept and you have to hard code this image. So if you look at this left side, okay, you have a client, you can have a client, you, it can be website, I mean, UI also, it can be command line also, it can be APIs also. And com through command line, you talk to the APIs of vault. And uh, 
and then in the vault you have a four uh, major components which i'm going to teach you authentications policies secrets and audit now what is authentications authentication means how to log into the vault for example if you log into the uh, gmail gmail with a password sometimes we uh, different uh, authentication method like ldap uh, we have a uh, sso so the different types of authentication method so here also vault we have a different types of authentication method using that you can log into the vault but okay you logged into the vault after that what you will do so you have a policies so policy primarily defines the what kind of access you are supposed to do i mean what what you are allowed to do so you can also say authorization or something other like but in vault we call it a policies now secret is very important the secret that is the reason we came here uh, to understand the vault so here this where do we state store the secret secret it can be a certificate key token and all stuff like that so it has to be stored somewhere right so that is being stored in the secret and secret engine is being used uh, for storing i'll i'll discuss that part also and you want to see that who has access what secret from where it has access what he has done with that secret and all stuff like that auditing will be there so as part of the vault you have a four important com components authentication policy secret and audit so now uh, vault you can find in the three variant primarily so you will have a open source self managed one cloud one you can use the cloud one and enterprise one also so we are focusing on the open source self managed one so that is where that you will start learning vault and then migrate to maybe cloud or enterprise whichever you are comfortable uh, in your in your project so by that time you should be very comfortable with working with the vault with open source so yeah these are the some of the you know cost and stuff like that what is included what is not included so open source is free cloud the charges you can see enterprise also we have a some custom charges which you can uh, you know contact the sales and then get a deal with it now in a open source uh, version of vault we have a dynamic secret management this is added okay so this is a dynamic secret management encryption and data protection is added community support is there and so on if you look at the cloud enterprise use cases fully managed clusters cloud sla's and support enterprise which you have a governance and policies scale and remediations uh, premium support and services all these things you have it so vault brokers and deeply integrate with the trusted identities what is this identities so if you want to you know attach with something like uh, active directories or something like that or some other identities then you can uh, you can do that to automate the access uh, to secret data and system so here uh, vault can also help you in terms of application and machine identity so you can secure the vault data with uh, with the, some of the identities such as kubernet pkis and uh, you know uh, uh, some biometrics and stuff like that also you can do that so secure application and system with a machine identity and automate credential issuance rotation and more enable us attestations of applications and workload identity using vault as a trusted authority you can also use the vault for user user identity with the vault that means you can use uh, for aws okta google cloud azure and all you can use it so what are the common use cases for the vault so some of the use cases we'll discuss secret management uh, where we can store all of your uh, you know uh, centrally stored access and deeply secret access across the application system and infrastructure you can also generate a dynamic secrets also dynamic secret means just like otp you know automatically generate and based on the demand and all so that is also possible uh, here vault you can install uh, vault using the helm chart and leverage vault and kubernet to securely inject secret into your application stack also using kubernetes that is also done and database credential rotations also the, you can do using the vault some more we have you can auto automate the pki infrastructure as well certificate based pki infrastructure identity based access you can uh, use it uh, for uh, storing the vault data encryption and tokenizations you can use the vault for it key management you can use the vault for it and so on so this was the little bit of introductions about vault now let's get into the installing part so
let's understand the first packages and then I will install it. So now, how do we install it? The installation is very simple though. Uh, let's understand this. So uh, where to install? So yes, you can install in anywhere, cloud, on-premises. Uh, you can install in the virtual machine. You can install using the managed services and stuff like that. On-prem bare metal, virtual machines and stuff like that. You, you can install it. Mm, yeah. Uh, some of the consideration which you make uh, while installing it, you should know that, uh, you know, cluster networking, scalability, high availability and disaster recovery concept and all. Okay, so these are the installation method uh, which we have. Uh, wait a second. Uh, I think I open a wrong thing. So, An installation method we have. Um, let me cover here. So Hashi Corp. Uh, vault. Just put it up. Installation is very simple. Just download the one executable and that's all. Installation is done. So if you go to this here, um, download, and here you see that uh, in the Windows, uh, you can just download this file. And in Linux, you just run this command and you are done with it. So this is a more or less kind of installations. You have for the different different languages, a different different platform. So, yeah. So now, uh, how do we interact with Vault? So I just said you can interact with the Vault using the CLI, UI, and API. So this I'll show you. So before that, yeah, we have to run the Vault in the development mode. So guys, uh, for learning purpose, you can run the Vault in the development mode. Then you'll say, what is the use case of the development mode? So in a development mode, when you run, then you don't need a, you know, the dedicated uh, storage. So basically all the secrets will be stored in the, uh, in the memories. So first start a vault dev server. The dev server is a built-in pre-configured server that is not very secure, but useful for playing with a vault locally. The dev server, which automatically unseal vault set up uh, in memory storage, it is. So here there is a one keyword, which is called unsealing. We need to understand that in order to use the vault, you have to unseal it first. So in a dev, it is already unsealed. So you can use it without, you know, anything else. But in that production, it will be sealed actually. So you have to unseal first and then use it. So it's a memory storage. So if you want to run the vault, what to do? So in order to run the vault, you have to download the vault, start the vault and access the vault. That's all you have to do that. So now these are the commands which you have for you look at the Mac command, Windows command and all stuff like that Linux command, which you have a, this one. So now uh, I will I will do one thing. I will show you the demo first and then I'll explain it to you. So where is a lab? So let me get the lab document first access. So I'm installing the the vault in the windows only and there is one advantage in windows like you can also run the command line and the same time uh, dashboard also you can easily access it so i'm going to use this this file one powershell okay and i'm going to use this one okay and then I'm going to use this one. All PowerShell I'm showing in the windows also. But if you want to practice in Linux, you can do that as well. I'll share the guide at the end of it. And this is the four script which we have, which we have to follow. So let's get started. So this is the first thing. I'm going to install the vault. So actually what I did, I'll show you this in the tools locations. Go to the C tools. and vault see here so this executable i have already downloaded in fact the date of this executable if you see 10 10 so this is something which you have it now how do we open up a powershell so here uh, just uh, open a powershell 
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.